How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Wonderful Everyday. We uh, haven't heard this soundtrack here in quite a while, so it's uh, things are pretty chill, I guess you can say. That's all I really remember. I think Takuji is here in this scene somewhere. We might see his lovely sprite again. It's his angry sprite. I guess we're eating lunch. Everything is chill for now because we're still at war with uh, with those bullies. But hey, the first... Oh, fuck. This is the first episode of Wonderful Every Day of this decade and of this year. More importantly, this year. I hopefully... Or I'm hoping that this is the year that we can finish up this playthrough because this is the third year that I'm doing this shit. <laughs> And I am enjoying it, don't get me wrong, but goddamn, we gotta we gotta wrap this shit up. I do enjoy some hamburgers. <laughs> there is Takuji. Mamiya kun suddenly laughed when we opened our lunch boxes and started trading food back and forth. いや、お前みたいなやつが作る弁当ってドカ弁みたいなもんだと思ってたから。案外ちっこい可愛らしいの作っててえ、もうそれでそれ食えるのか。爆弾でも入ってそうだな。you know, I highly doubt that. I highly believe that. Yeah, but I still do it. Mamiya kun ignored her completely as he fished through his pocket. Then he looked disappointed. Huh? He looked even more restless than before. Wait, we came across him smoking not too long ago. Why is this... Why is this a surprise? It's not good, definitely not, but... You, you get my point here. As she finished chewing her food, she pulled her bag closer and grabbed a small white box. I jumped when I saw her pull cigarettes out of the last place I would have expected them. The Kush. She dodged my question and held out the box to Mamiya kun. The cigarettes all had feminine designs printed on them. He took one cigarette from the box, put it in his mouth, and lit it with an austere metal lighter. I probably pronounced that wrong. Flick. His face softened as he exhaled the white smoke. This was a trap, I'm pretty sure. This has to be a trap. Why would she have this shit with her? Taba 
使い方次第で誰でも混迷状態にすることが可能いいろいろなことって主に混迷状態だけあおバイングフラッシュブーム The burning tobacco suddenly flared up and started exploding like a firework. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Even Mamiya kun couldn't stay cool after that. It looked like he kept it in his mouth and endured the heat for a moment because he didn't want to spit it out. Well, I kind of saw it coming. なるほどメンソール入りなのは薬品の匂いをごまかすためか考えたもんだな He wore an expression of utter resignation as he crushed the box of cigarettes 大丈夫ですかやけどとかしてません Oh no, he probably is もうこの程度の危険察知できない俺が悪い Yeah, in all honesty, she hates his guts for whatever reason, so why would she offer him cigarettes or anything for that matter? God damn, his memory is so terrible. Doesn't matter what personality he has. あれは慰謝料だって言ってるだろういきなり襲ってきたのはお前なんだからならコルトガバメント M1911A1 を返せあれも慰謝料だはあどこの世界にエストレイマとガバメントを慰謝料に取る人間がいるすぐ目の前にいるだろう Her entire body shook with anger. She took one step forward and locked eyes with Mamiya kun. Mamiya kun pulled the knife out. How the fuck did he get that past security? N690 コバルトステンレスだぞなんだよ ATS34 じゃねえのかたまらなりきんやろあれは金持ちが眺めるナイフに使う材質だそっちの方がいいだろう効果なんだからよくない実用日こそ正義はい What? What are they talking about? I felt really lonely, like I had been excluded from something. Yes, 
せ私もシューター歴長いからなガバについてはうるさいんだやっぱガバはシングルカラムの薄いフレームのやつに限るんだな She got really happy for a second when he complimented her gun, but then her face turned sour and she started yelling at him again. そうか。代わりにウズメガンか。ビックスベッラップでも置いておけよ。ふ、hmm. ん。私はどこの赤ちゃんだ。夜泣きで寝れない大人がいるんだ。ま、まあまあ。落ち着こうよ。君か。We must have gotten on his nerves. He got, he got up and started to walk away. And I thought all three of us would be able to eat together for once. What a shame. This has been a long. This has been a very long lunch period, I feel. In his pants? I don't fucking know. At least he's showing some concern. マミヤくん、キックボックスのシガレッツに、スローリーワークワードのステーズ。おう。こんにちは。Hmm. We've seen this character before. Oh, that's right. Takashima actually met her before we、uh, diverged and got fucked. Hasaki chan looked at me and bowed politely. And then she stood in front of Mamiya kun and blocked his path. Huh? For some reason, she looked at us and then changed the way she addressed him. But now that I think of it, why would she call him, or why would she call Mamiya Takuji kun Tomo Nisan? She thrust the rat package at him before he could say no. Well, I guess at this point, you know. What can you do? The lunchbox Hasaki chan had brought was so large and garish that we were both surprised. Our lunchboxes looked pathetic by comparison. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Now, wait a minute. 
んだとお前がさっき言ったことだろう<笑>私もダメでしょうか別に兄さんの許可なんていりませんだいたい食べないとか言ってた人ですからあだからそれははいはい皆さんも食べてください<笑>どんだけ兄弟でスペックが違うんだよなんでこんなクズにこんな素晴らしい妹さんがあ,あ we're back We all sat under the blue sky and shared a noisy meal together. Kimika and I had to wipe the smiles off our faces and put on stoic expressions when we walked back into the classroom.、Oh. You know, but back to reality, I guess. It was practically expected at this point. The moment we walked into the room, all conversations stopped and everyone looked uneasy. <laughs> well, the two bitches are here. I took a deep breath and walked to my seat. I checked the I checked the chair, excuse me, and the desk before sitting down, just like Himika told me to. Nothing is wrong with them. I was worried they would do something, but they didn't try anything during class. Though they glared at us all throughout the class. Himika yawned out of boredom, though that must be a bluff. But then. She's really sleeping. Soon, afternoon classes ended too. Can we turn the music back on, please? Before we head home? If they were going to come after us today, it would be after school. The walk home is the most dangerous part of the day. Yeah. Okay, when I wanted the music back on, I didn't want this, this track. Can we, have, can we have that funny, lighthearted music again, even if something bad happens, please? Can I edit that in? No, I, I won't.、Uh, now I forgot what else I was going to say. I was actually going to say something important. Oh, that's right.、Uh, yeah, we saw that in the other chapter, or not the other chapter, the other route in this chapter, that walking home alone definitely.、Uh, Definitely brought on the terrible shit. There are lots of places they could wait to ambush us, and if we waited around after school, it would just get darker and more dangerous. It's like it's all coming together. They had already had plenty of chances to attack us if they wanted to do it here at school. If they were going to do something, it would happen after we left the school gates. Splat. As soon as we stepped outside, we heard a strange whizzing sound for a moment, and then a second later, we were covered in broken eggs. You danced, Tana. Yeah, that, that is an optimistic、uh, way of looking about it. We looked up at the roof, but we couldn't see anyone up there. It really is. These white uniforms are pretty expensive. So that was actually really bad. No, no, that's what they want us to do. Let's not do that. Everyone watched us as we walked over to the water supply and washed our hair and faces with soap. We went to the locker room right away when we were done. I have a bad feeling about this. My locker had been, had been bent into a strange rectangular shape. My feeble mind could not comprehend how rectangular and bent it became. Yeah, 
予測できないじゃすまないんだけどね。私だけの問題じゃないんだから。Well, obviously, what the fuck? ザクロを守るって決めたんだから。ミスでしたすみませんじゃすまないんだよね。そんな私は守られてばかりでバーカ一番最初に私を救ってくれたのはあなたでしょ君かクラス中にいじめられてた私を救ったのはあなたそんで私はあなたに何にも恩返しできてないだから何があっても今度は守り通す君か Her locker was fine, maybe because it was locked. My locker, on the other hand, was almost comically warped since I didn't expect them to attack us like this and never locked it. The only thing left in my locker was a swimsuit. I don't know if that was an act of kindness or yet another form of bullying. Did they want to laugh at me walking home in a swimsuit? Nice buddy, n a n d a k a r a So they get a kite, Tara? なんでそうなる<笑>冗談仕方ないある程度制服が乾くまで待とう多分それが狙いだろうから That's a fuck it at this point. 狙い夜なら何してもバレないそう思ってるんでしょだったら今すぐにでも帰らないと夜の帳っていうのは何もあっちにだけ味方するわけじゃないから夜なら夜の戦い方っていうのがあるんだよ Are we gonna sly cooper this shit? そうなの Because man I am absolutely down だから制服乾くまで待ってよそれにこの時間でいろいろできるから We can play blackjack いろいろそう私のロッカーは When she opened up her locker, there was something almost the same size inside it. Because it's safer than a locker. Get it? Okay, I'll,、uh, I'll let myself out. The outside is a small steel steel steel, but the inside is a small steel steel. See, this is why I don't make jokes or puns or anything when I record. I just like to keep it dry. She pulled out a lot of different chemicals. Where does she keep her PE clothes? I was kind of curious about that, but. <laughs> Whatever. Wow, you, you don't say. The sun set as we hid and waited for our uniforms to dry. I really hope there's cameras in here. Nah, Nah, dude, there's, there's some fucking moonlight, or else the windows wouldn't be white. Who the fuck is that on the left? He looks like the guy on the right. But way worse. I was confused by her actions. And she put her hand up her skirt and started feeling around for something on her waist. Yeah, just a little. I thought it was a whip. It couldn't have been a baton. That shit wasn't gonna work. We saw that not work in the,、uh, in the other route. 
The whip in her hand was clearly different from the kind used to give orders to animals or the kind used in acrobatics. It was designed to be used as a weapon. She wrapped it around her waist like a belt and hid it under her clothes. これは少しまずくないまあ、これ見ると穴がち嘘じゃなさそうだよね。すごい痛そう。そうだね。すごく痛そうだね。the sound of the whip cutting through the air gave Kimika courage and made the men back off warily. Can't we just pull a gun out and finish this? I have a bad feeling though. As Shirayama moved forward unflinchingly, Kimika knocked him to the ground with the whip. Yeah. His clothes were ripped and bloody. That's actually a pretty smart idea, not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see about that, brother. That's all he lives for, though he keeps on getting, you know, hurt. Like in every route, he just gets hurt. Goddamn. Now remember the last time we ran? The sound of the whip was the signal for me to run, and then she followed right after me. Okay, perfect. Well, I guess we'll see. I don't think anybody likes a stubborn man. That's why nobody likes me. As I ran through the gate, I heard the sound of Kimika's whip behind me. We desperately ran. She turned around once in a while to ward off our pursuers. But Kimika doesn't have much stamina. She couldn't keep this up for much longer. I grabbed her hand and pulled her along as we ran through the night streets. There was hardly anyone around in the residential district. Why'd we come this way? I heard the whip cutting through the air several more times, but the situation didn't improve at all. What should we do? Where should we go? Okay, you know, if I was in a situation like this, or if I, okay, let's, let's start that over. If I was in their shoes, this would probably be a good situation to call the police. Like, I'm pretty sure the police would actually do something if a bunch of fucking guys were chasing these two. Just, at this point, it makes the most sense. The situation just got worse. As she was nearing the limit of her stamina, she tripped and fell. I went down with her, rolling several times before we regained our bearings. <sighs><笑><笑> 
I finally saw all the people who had been chasing us. As I looked at their sheer numbers and the weapons they were holding, the blood drained from my face. Shiroyama, Shiroyama excuse me, stood there trying to catch his breath with a wooden sword in his hand. The other men had large knives, metal bats, and even steel pipes with the ends cut off. Any of them could easily kill a person. <sighs> Kimika, her breath still ragged from running, stood in front of me to protect me. She stared down the laughing men that were eyeing us even though she was hardly able to stand. She took several test tubes out of her bag. <laughs> when I looked closer, I noticed that several of the men were pointing air guns at Kimika. How good is their aim? それがどのくらいの威力か知らねえけど、その位置だとお前だけじゃ済まないかもね。割れた動いたら、ウムを言わさずこれを投げつける。だけど、もしザクロを逃がしてくれるんなら、だったら私を煮るなり焼くなり好きにすればいいわ。マジかよそれ。すげえ優愛精神だな。え、something <笑><笑> like that. おお、怖い、怖い。なるほどね。それほどの覚悟というわけですか。さあ、どうする。わかった。高島には手を出すな。君か。そういうこと。<laughs> Several men jumped out of the bushes and pinned her down. <laughs> Shirayama gave a crude smile as he pulled Kimika by the hair and held her down. He brought his face so close to hers that their lips were almost touching. Shirayama threw her to the ground and pushed her down into the dirt with his foot. Pound, pound. I lost control of myself, punching Shirayama in the chest several times. Huh? What's this? Pound, pound. おい、今のって攻撃？は？マッサージにもなんねよ。なぬまた、もうこれじゃ正当防衛だよな。だね、殴られちゃったし。ならしかたねえな。ベイサー。Ouchies. <笑> Shiriyama smirked and then punched me in the stomach. My vision instantly went black and I lost my sense of balance. 
I couldn't breathe. My entire body was numb. I couldn't move. It was like the entire world had been shifted 45 degrees. <laughs> Kimika was on the ground a few feet away, looking at me and crying. Kimika and I were looking at each other at the same angle. I must have fallen to the ground. <sighs> the hateful, disgusting, unforgettable voices of our tormentors entered our ears. They must have been giggling as they waited somewhere safe and watched us fighting for our lives. They looked at us and grinned. They looked down at us with glee, as if we were the idiots for even trying to resist. But... <laughs> I mustered all my strength to pull myself off the ground and stand on my own two feet. My head was spinning, my stomach was convulsing, and I couldn't see straight. I don't think we would have done that at any point, really. Just to be real, you know. As if I was possessed by all the loathing and anger that had built up within me. I forgot about the pain in my wrists long enough to lash out at Megu, but sadly, she avoided my blows. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking tell her. <laughs> Megu's voice and expression changed. She was honestly shocked. She had me labeled as a simple, docile sheep who could never fight back. She never expected me to act like this. That made me want to rip her face off even more. I was hit in the stomach even harder than before. I collapsed like a marionette whose strings had been cut. <laughs> Unlike Shirayama, Satoko didn't pull her punches. Maybe people of the same sex really can be crueler to you than those of the opposite sex. Satako pulled me back up and kept punching me. <laughs> I was waiting for this son of a bitch to show up. <laughs> a voice in the dark suddenly agreed with her followed by the sound of approaching footsteps. God damn, there's really a lot of generic looking goons. However, I think the guy that's like right behind Takushi is someone we know, maybe? I don't know. But anyways, I've been recording for far too long. I just wanted to see, you know, what was gonna happen. I'm pretty sure there wasn't gonna be like a, a rape scene or something. I, or at least I didn't really expect there to be one. I sort of thought, you know, we experienced all that in the other route, so what's different in this one? And a lot of it really is different. But anyways, that's where we're going to stop with this episode. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the support and all that. I am really excited to record a lot more of this as we, um, as we go into this year. I don't know how much more there is to all this, but... I'm just going to keep on enjoying the ride, and I hope that you all will enjoy it with me. So thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.